Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we finally got the green light for some non-essential travel. We immediately made our way to Fourio National Park, which is in the heart of picturesque Gaspé Z. It's so rare to have a journey that's as beautiful as the destination. We drive during the daylight hours. This helps us to avoid wildlife on the road and enables us to take in all of the beauty along Route 132. In this video, we park Casablanca and eagerly set out to explore Cape Bonami. It delivers a spectacularly misty view of the Gulf, and we even get a visit from a friendly native. Look at that. This. Just wanna soak it up, you know? I don't wanna take our trips for granted anymore, you know? You think it's there forever, and then one day it's gone, and this COVID thing made me realize how lucky we are. Finally made it to our campsite after all the fuss with the uh, fresh water. We had to go to another entrance about 10 kilometers from where we were because the uh, fresh water over here wasn't working. So anyway, all done. We also had to flush the lines, the water lines, because she was still winterized. So that took us a little bit of time. But now, time to set her up because we're dying to go explore. Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. So today, it's actually a really nice day and it was supposed to rain, but luckily it's holding up. So right inside the park, I think maybe three, four kilometers, not even, we came with the truck. We have this awesome view, it's called Cap Bonami, not too far from our campground, from our camping spot, I don't know, maybe seven minute drive, not even, but it is just breathtaking. Happy. Are you? Yeah, I'm happy she's here, that's for sure. This is a nice reward, you know. I have to say, those three months were hard, mentally. So hard to make plans, so hard to do anything, and uh, motivation was down. And this time, being out here exploring, makes me appreciate this a lot more. Look at that. This just want to soak it up, you know. I don't want to take our trips for granted anymore, you know. You think it's there forever and then one day it's gone. And this COVID thing made me realize how lucky we are. In many ways, we have many blessings. This just keeps getting better and better. I know. <laughs> it's pretty, right? All 
all the birds are nesting on that cliff there. Oh. That cliff side. Did you see that? No. Oh yeah. Look at that. All these birds that you see, these black ones. I guess they're all on the cliff nesting. So the gannet, it's a white bird and they have a nesting area nearby. It's on Bonaventure Island and people flock, quote unquote flock, to uh, Bonaventure Island to see the migrations, to see the birds, to see the, the nesting areas. So I'm not sure if we're going to have time on this trip to check them out, but there's a little bit of information here about them. So they can cover distances of 100 kilometers to feed. In a torpedo fashion, it dives head first into the water from heights of 10 meters, which is pretty cool. And un underwater, it can reach depths of 15 meters. Powerful bird. So that's nearby Bonaventure Island. I think the island is closed. Is it? Yeah. It's one of the top. Uh, it's one of the highlights of this area i think it's closed that's why a lot of people are still not coming because they're not going to get to see the birds no because they they're they're not able to go to the island oh well that's what i meant cool. fiona come on so come. that's what they look like
there, she's there. The seal is there. Grab the leash, the seal is there. It's right there. She's right there. Grab Fee's leash, baby, grab Fee's leash. She's curious about us. She's looking right at you.